was um, mid-March, uh, so very early on in the pandemic in South Africa, in the South African context. And um, I was called to join the COVID team, um, which came as a surprise to me. And I remember, you know, the emotions, you know, were uncontrollable. I couldn't, um, sort of, there were so many questions to navigate, so many issues to, you know, that I uh, hadn't really considered up until that point. And, uh, you know, it took me a while to uh, adjust to this new kind of, um, you know, sort of um, existence because um, we had changed from doing a predominantly cold speciality where, where I would, you know, see eight to four hours. Um, um, now I was called upon to have to do um, calls starting at 6 a.m., you know, coming into work at 2 p.m., leaving, you know, uh, at midnight uh, some, some, some evenings. And I've got a three-year-old uh, at home. I mean, he just turned three in August, uh, like in the thick of the pandemic. And, um, you know, my husband is also a doctor. He was in private practice. So, you know, we had to uh, navigate our family. Um, we had to ensure that we had something set up in place for, for my uh, son. My husband actually took months of work during the initial period of lockdown. So he sort of, uh, you know, took the backseat to allow me to, um, you know, to work in the capacity as I had to in the public space. And um, since then, I've just, you know, it's it's become a part of, 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 of my existence. It's been a part of uh, not just being a mother and a daughter and a sister and uh, uh, a wife, um, but it's also, um, you know, been a part of how I see myself growing as a doctor as well and um, during the course of this uh, pandemic I actually took on the role as clinical team leader for the COVID uh, team um, of internal medicine and um, it was a decision made because we saw that we needed um, um, kind of streamlining or a lot more structure a lot more uh, direction uh, to ensure that you know we could allay fears and also help with people dealing with people's um, anxieties and um, and helping people um, to understand that you know this is um, uh, a team team effort and I think um, it was um, yeah very challenging but at the same time I think we've I've grown and um, I think. I still feel being a mother is the most difficult job and I think that this period highlights it because uh, um, you, regardless of what's happening at work, uh, you can manage these kinds of things. You know, in your, in your uh, profession, you, uh, you, you dealt with difficult situations all the time in this, in, in, in this discipline. Uh, but uh, the COVID pandemic uh, definitely and certainly put a twist on uh, your profession and I call it a profession as a mother, because um, there were so many issues that you never thought you would have to deal with uh, uh, in having a, a young infant in a situation such as with, you know, with such extreme um, uh, emotional, psychological and uh, biological